In this video, I will show you how to use the Hotwax Commerce OMS and how to use the functionalities and configurations inside. First, you go to your OMS link that the BA team has provided you and you will come on the dashboard page. You use the credentials of username and password and you log in. The first time any user logs in, it gives you the uh, option to reset your password according to yours uh, self. And then you land on the sales order page. Here you have all the sales order listed that are currently imported into the OMS. You have various features like you can select the product store, you can select the facility, you can select the order status from created, approved, completed or cancelled and you can select the item status, order date, etc, etc. If there is a pre-order, you can select the promise date, you can select the auto cancel date, shipping methods. You also have some features here. If you want to list down only the pre-orders, only the back orders, it gives you audit options or it gives you the search options on the sales order page. Next, if you want to see the products in the OMS, here if you go to the left hamburger menu, you click on products under PIM, and here are your products, all of the products listed. Again, like sales order page, on the products view page, you have various filters in which you can filter the products by using tags or feature or category. You can also filter the products using pre-order, back order or include parent uh, option. If you want to go and see an inventory of the product on all facilities listed at once, you can just simply click on this arrow and you will see the inventory for the product. The total inventory will be listed here. And if you want to go see inventory per facility wise, you can just simply click on a product, click on view inventory, and this is where you will see the inventory for every facility individually, or you can select the facility from here. Going back to the product detail page, here all of the details like product queue, Shopify internal ID and product name, product type, etc. will be listed here. If you go to the parent product from the link, you will land on the virtual product. You can scroll down and see all the variants listed down here. Now if you want to go and see the categories a product can be listed in, that is a pre-order or a back order category, here are the pre-order and back order categories. A product in a back order with an active PO will be listed in the back order category and similarly for the pre order category. Next, going on to the facilities, if you want to see the associate facilities, here you will go to the left hamburger menu, scroll down and click on facilities under warehouse. You land on the view facilities page. There are a lot of virtual facilities which are set up for various purposes one of which is to hold the orders coming in at a particular facility and broker them at once using a batch job. For example, we'll use this store 5 for this demo purpose. Here we have the facility configurations and setups. So you will see the name of the facility, the address. Here are some configurations that Hotwax Commerce OMS provides. That is how many maximum orders can a facility take in one day or consumed order limit if this uh, in facility allows uh, online sales or allows the inventory to be sh shown on Shopify for online orders and if the facility uses Hotwax Commerce OMS fulfillment app. Like this you can see the parties here you can add your warehouse pickers you can add your managers etc and under these parties. Also, you can add locations of your warehouse. If there's a particular location, aisle, number, etc., you can add the location from here. This is how you can manage the inventory configurations or facility configurations from this page. Next is the inventory page. This page, you can again, through the inventory page, you can go to the left hamburger menu, click on inventory under warehouse and you will land on this inventory page. This inventory page is dedicated to list down all of the products with the total inventory on one page. So if I want to search this product, I'll just copy this queue and I'll search it 
here and you can see the total inventory this is basically a shortcut to see inventory for a product rather than going to the products page and then view inventory and going all the way to the inventory page next is purchase orders through the left hamburger menu you will go down to purchase orders under procurement and click this page will list down all the purchase orders imported into hotwax commerce oms with their item status created date and arrival date and their quantity and atp if you want to see the details of a purchase order you can click on the purchase order id and you will land on the purchase order detail page moving on you have other features like you want to import a purchase order or you want to see the shopify jobs etc you can go to the exim menu from the left hamburger menu and you will land on this dashboard where you can see multiple options under multiple headers like imports there are um, options to import facility csvs inventory reset inventory csv shipment csv purchase orders and you also have an option to see the shopify jobs that are um, exports data from oms to shopify like graphql job order mdm where an order is imported from shopify to hotwax commerce oms product inventory etc let us now see how to create a user uh, in hotwax oms you will go to the left hamburger menu you will click on create employee you can give the name and the email id or the external id is optional if you want to give the phone number you can and you will give the complete name and click on create you will land on this employee page where the first profile of the user has been created here you can give a role of administrator which gives the complete user permissions of this application and click on save you can also just approve the employee from here now you need to create the user login credentials for the employee so you'll click on add user login you will type the name of or the user uh, login name that you want to provide you will give the password you will confirm it here and you will click on add you will get a user login created successfully message you can reset the password for the employee from here this way hotfax commerce provides an easy to use application with a lot of features and configurations that can be done by the retailer itself without any support from the back end team